I recently had a Q&A with You Are My Sundays and it went a little bit like this. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> what drew you to the music industry? Hmm. My grandmother used to teach music and my father used to sing alto in the choir. So for a very long time, music has been a source of comfort for me. Um, it gives me peace of mind, you know, it feels like home. And I love how it can bring strangers together and how it highlights how much we as humans have in common in spite of our age, ethnicity and backgrounds. That unity and like ability to evoke emotions in myself and others is what drew me to the music industry. Please explain your creative process. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I really have one, but when I write for myself, I don't have a process. I write what I feel. So sometimes I use a backtrack. Other times I'll like hum a melody like hmm. Um, then I'll listen to instrumentals for musical inspiration or hang out with my friends, you know, really just, um, I'm not much of an extrovert, so just anything to do with me, home people, a few people, yeah. Is there any hidden meaning in your music? Um, we can find hidden meaning in anything artistic. You know, how someone interprets my music is their own secret way of understanding it. Any deeper meaning is never deliberate, it just is. Sometimes my music is like a beautiful painting hanging on a wall in an art gallery. And other times it's like graffiti art, <laughs> demanding attention and thought-provoking. And I like to be playful and serious with my talent. Do you collaborate with others and what is the process? Yes, I do. I've worked with artists such as Ducky, Mr. Poetry, worked with Jimmy Wiz, there's a song, we did a So Into You remix, there's a video for YouTube on that. Of everything a queen should be, and I'm a ride for you, my with every ounce of chivalry. Your hair locked in the usual trend. Oh, country then I really love to be in studio with them because I feed off energies please discuss how you interact and respond to fans I'm on social media you know people will DM me I'll talk to them people ask me questions uh, you know yeah <laughs> favorite part of this line of work mm, there's no blanket answer here for what my favorite part is I enjoy writing I enjoy performing I enjoy the sharing of thoughts with strangers and having them understand it in their own way you know and meeting other amazing artists. I love that. It keeps me inspired. Least favorite part of this line of work. Um, oh man, being a woman is quite tough, you know, and record labels care more about your looks as opposed to your talent. So I find it a bit more difficult for women because sex sells and my music isn't about that. I want to connect with a person at a deeper level. Have you dealt with anxiety with a performance? Yes. For your eyes and my love. I'm rather gonna all get up and walk out as soon as I start singing. <laughs> it's never easy getting up on stage and shining or being vulnerable. But after a few seconds, I feel great and, I, and then it's hard to get me off the stage. Tell me about your favorite performance venues. Okay, my very favorite one was in Zanzibar. It was about five years ago and I sang at um, someone's wedding and wow, that was amazing. Um, and then, I, I mean, I don't have a favorite place. It's always different, it's always different. But um, I actually loved seeing at Afro Brew in Maboning. I like anywhere outside, anywhere where people are chilled, man. Chilled vibes, you know? Um, what advice would you have for someone following in your footsteps? 
dude don't quit even on days where you feel like you'll never be recognized or like you're wasting your time you know all those songs you've written all those nights in studio are preparing you for what's to come no no success is overnight there's always behind the scenes work we don't see you know market yourself collaborate keep on dreaming um it's easy to quit but like just don't do it it's, this is a tough industry and there's a lot of amazing artists but there's no one like you you are unique and that's why the world needs to hear you so i've come outside because it's warmer than inside the house i hope you guys enjoy my q a with you on my sundays and that you'll be listening to my ep as soon as that's done